In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform a dynamic sum from different tabs in Microsoft Excel. Okay, so let's jump right to it. Okay, so I have a main tab over here, and I also have multiple tabs for each of the months from January all the way up to December. And each of the tabs contain the same data set pretty much. They all contain the same fields. They all contain revenue, cost of goods sold, operating expenses, taxes, and profits. And what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to create a formula within the main tab, which basically sums a specific field or a specific column from each of these tabs. For example, I want to be able to create a formula that when I specify a specific tab, it gives me the sum of the column for that tab alone. For that reason, I created this drop down over here. This drop down contains the months of January all the way to December. So each time I select one of these drop down items here, I want to see the sum of profits within that particular tab. So that's what I want to achieve. And for doing so, I will be using the sum and also the indirect formulas. Now the formula for achieving this is currently displayed on the screen and I've also applied it within this cell over here. As you can see, this formula is currently returning the sum of profits in the month of January, which is coming from this tab over here. And let's go uh, see what the sum of profits is. There you go, the sum of profits is exactly equal to the sum of profits, which is calculated here. If I go and select, uh, let's say um, May, sum of profits is 2174. Now let's go to the month of May and do a sum on the profits. Let's see what we get. There we go. We get the exact same number. So this formula is doing a dynamic sum on a specific column but the tab it's selecting from, the tab or worksheet that it's doing the sum on, depends on the value I select from this drop down menu. Now, here's how this formula works. So, the sum part is obviously very clear. The indirect part, what the indirect formula does is it returns a reference specified by a text. Now, in this case, the text is the value in cell B6. So, in other words, whatever the text in this cell is, which is being referenced over here within single quotations, using this syntax over here, that text is the tab for which the summation is going to be performed on. So, the sum is going to be performed on cells E2 through E12, uh, but from the text, which, which is derived from this particular cell, which in this case is cell B6. And whatever selection we make from this drop-down list, that is the tab from which this formula is going to perform the sum on. And this is a very neat and handy trick to be able to perform a sum or any mathematical operation for that matter from a specific tab without needing to go and change the formula based on which tab we want to do the sum on. And that's how it's done. I hope you found this video useful. If yes, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe and also turn on notifications so you won't miss out on my next videos. Thank <laughs> you.